And now let's get more into like real life scenario. And uh, hopefully this opens a lot of questions as well for everybody. But like, let's say I'm, I'm fishing on a, you know, three or 400 feet of water and I hooked into a decent fish and I think I potentially could have a world record. What are the things that I need to keep in mind from that moment that I hug the fish until that fish is on the boat? So the main thing that I would keep in mind uh, and you could be protective about is that no one else is allowed to touch the rod or assist you in any way besides yourself, right? So, so a mate can't come underneath and, and bump into the rod and you know, you have to be the person that fights that fish. This is a solo mission? Yes. Okay. And uh, so when that fish gets close to the boat and you get towards the end game and you're thinking about gaffing it, you also, the, no one else can touch the main line. So the mate can't touch the main line, um, but they are allowed to touch the leader, right? So we talked earlier about your maximum leader length. So okay. let's say you have that 15 foot of leader. You know, once that comes up and it's within reach, the mate can grab that and, you know, then it's considered a caught fish at that point. And then from that point forward, you know, whatever they do, you know, you can set the rod down, help him. Okay. Um, yeah, you just have to make sure that you, you've grabbed onto that leader and it's considered a caught fish. And then you can gaff your fish or net it you fit to land it. So I need to keep the rod with me the whole time, not put the rod in the rod holder, right? I have to hold this whole thing. Yeah. And, and once the leader is up, then I, and somebody touches that leader, that fish is considered- Considered caught, caught. fish, yeah. And then what happens from that point on is, is okay. Correct.